everyone! So today I wanted to show you guys around my art room slash doll display room so you guys could get a better idea of how I organize all of my doll art supplies because I know I'm not the only one who loves to make stuff for their dolls. And I also wanted to show you guys my dolly processing station. So basically when I get new dolls, whether they're second hand or whether I buy them at the store or they're from eBay, I have a little system to keep myself organized, where to put dolls that need repairs, where to put clothes, etc. So without further ado, I'm going to show you around. So this is what the room looks like when you come in through the doorway. There isn't a door on here, and that's just because if there was a door here, I wouldn't be able to put the brat shelf right up against the wall. So this was my sister's bedroom when we were really little, and it looks pretty big on video, but honestly, like the bed takes up half the room when there's a bed in here. So this is the first wall. And I do have a Bratz collection video. If you want to see that, check out my collections and displays playlist. And then we have underneath the window. And then on this side of the room. And then over here. I love these sorts of plastic organizer drawers. So this is my newest one. I actually got this for free. One of my neighbors put it out. So this is my mending basket. I kind of came up with this idea not too long ago because I always get clothes that have holes or sometimes some of my dolls that have been wearing their outfits for a long time need repairs. So in this top drawer there's not much. I have my paint palettes, my recycled jar that I use for water, and then my different sealers. So in this drawer, this is where I keep my cardstock and construction paper. And then in here, you can see that I have sheet protectors. I use these anytime I make doll guides or for my doll inventories. I love these. Beneath here, I just have like extra pencil pouches and dividers and stuff like that that's left over from school, but I do use that stuff. And in here are index cards. And next to them are flowers that I use for making doll hair pieces. So if you've watched some of my videos where I'm in my dining room, I have a vase of fake flowers in there too. And those are actually not decor. I just figured since I have the fake flowers and I'm not going to use them all right away, I might as well make it look pretty. This unit here is from Walmart. I have two more of these downstairs. It was kind of expensive if I remember right. I bought this one maybe four years ago. I think it was close to $30, but it was one of the best purchases in my life. As I said, I have two more downstairs because I love them so much. So this top drawer is all of my Sculpey clay stuff. This is a reused cream cheese container that I keep my scrap clay in. This is a basket that someone gave my sister, which she gave to me, and I keep my bacon bond and liquid Sculpey and glazes in here. And this is a pencil pouch that I've literally had since I was in ninth grade, and I keep my Sculpey tools in there. This is my doll project drawer. This tray was actually my grandmother's. She used to keep jewelry in it, and since it doesn't have a lid, I couldn't keep doll stuff in it, so I thought I'd stick it in one of these drawers. But this is like a piece of plastic I mix acrylic filler on. I have some crochet hooks, some empty jars for things, the needles I use to reroute the uh, acrylic filler. And these are basically nail kits and that's what I use to repair cracks on necks and stuff and I use the nail files to kind of sand it down. And these are my three jars of flocking for vintage Ken dolls. Some straws that I recycle when I curl doll bangs. This salt and pepper shaker, which is recycled, I use this when I flock dolls. I put the flocking in here and then shake it on the head. Some pointed q-tips, toothpicks that I use, and then this is all my doll hair. And then this drawer is where I keep glue, scissors, tape, rulers, and then these are some green sharpies and stuff to fix CDs. And then this is another mostly doll repair drawer. So this is all my tape. Back here I have some pre-cut dowels and like scraps of dowels that I use for things. And then these are stand pieces for mini dolls, for like the mini Disney princess dolls that I have pre-cut here. I have like my favorite tape measure, the wire I use, the angle ruler I use, and then like the pliers and wire cutters I use. So it's washers, bungee cord, and that's what I use to fix American Girl dolls when I restring them. And then I have different types of wires that I use for headbands and like florist wire, stuff like that. And safety pins, I need them all the time to like widen ear holes on dolls and stuff. Drawer is all of my paints. 
and I had to kind of stand them up in these smaller containers because they would just fall over. So I have them organized sort of by color except the big bottles. I do have containers in here. Some of them didn't have lids and some of them do. I've just accumulated a lot of containers because I love organizing. So I try to keep the ones that had their lids, like I keep the lids underneath them as you can see in here. This is my dollhouse where I keep my brats. So this drawer always breaks when I try to open it. I don't know why this like whole dollhouse kind of warps, but in here I keep extra ziplocs. So things say I decided I didn't need a ziploc for a particular doll outfit because the doll is wearing it and it's her original outfit. I'll put the empty bag in here and then try to reuse it. So then we have this. This was given to me. This one's cool. It has like a little tray. So this is where I keep all my scrap ribbon and like suede cord and pearly things for making headbands. And then in here this is all of my ribbon. This bottom drawer there's the wider ribbon for like American Girl headbands. And then I have a bunch of these like repurposed tackle boxes that I keep some of my like fake flowers that I use for headbands. This box was something my dad used to use for fishing but he gave it to me. I don't know where they're from but I use these for more of my like fake flowers and roses and sequins. Basically this is my doll hairpiece station. This is my sewing machine. It was my grandmother's. And then this is my Bratz case. I got this off Craigslist when I bought some Bratz dolls, or when my dad bought me some Bratz dolls. And this is where I keep, I'll show you. Say I'm washing dolls, this is where I keep their outfits. And they're things that I need to either make baggies for, or in this case, these are Magic Moves Barbie capes. I'm going to put these on my Magic Moves Barbies in storage, so basically if I get clothes and I need to put them on dolls, or if I have dolls that are waiting to get dressed, that's where I keep their stuff. It keeps it safe. I also have a tiny jewelry bag in there for any jewelry that they're going to wear, whether it's stuff I made or whether it's their factory jewelry, or you know, little tiny pieces like socks. So this is my art desk. This was a Christmas present from my dad in 2008, so my senior year of high school. And my dad bought himself some stuffed animals the last year he was alive. And one day when he was in here, he took his little stuffed monkey and wrapped the monkey around my lamp. And I've kept him there ever since. Then we have these cabinets. So these were actually in my kitchen a really long time ago when I was a little kid. When my parents decided to take down the wall dividing the dining room and the kitchen, these were on that wall. So obviously they couldn't hang up anymore. So they were down in the laundry room for years and my parents used to keep like canned food in them. But then after a while they just stopped getting used and when I was thinking of like ways to organize my doll stuff, I was walking around the house and I saw these cabinets and I thought, hmm, I could use those. So I talked to my dad and he ended up helping me move these the last year he was alive. So that's cool. And there's supposed to be a panel here, but um, I do have it. I just never bothered putting it back on because that way my paintbrushes can dry. So, so this is my dad's set of like X-Acto blades. The top thing has assorted stuff. So it has some pencil sharpeners, my glitter, and then those drawers have glitter and this is some ink. Bottom layer has all of my special like artist pencils and markers and like a compass and some erasers. So then in here I have a box of all my markers and then I just have a paint by number because I enjoy doing those and an extra sketchbook. And then on this side I have my crayons again. And then over here I have my chalk pastels. I love these, so much fun. The sketchbook I'm using right now, this I have some canvas and then those are my colored pencils these are all recycled peanut butter drawers so i have my paint brushes so then up here these are just like envelopes and thank you cards my and then over here you'll see all of these doll guides so this top one this is my hello kitty binder in one of my first videos i showed this so i can show it really quick but I keep things in these little dividers, so a list of what my My Little Ponies are. Same with my grandmother's porcelain dolls. And then these, these look really weird, but when I go to take pictures for my Flickr, I oftentimes replace them. I made these little note cards so when we would go through containers, my sister could just put 
the dolls in piles based on the pictures they needed to be taken. And then these are all my doll inventories. But then in this section, I have all the lists of the doll bodies I need. And then this is my wish list of American Girl clothes that I'm hoping to collect. And these are all important dates for things in my collection. So as I said, these are all things that I made. So I literally spend hours upon hours compiling doll guides. So yes, this is my Bratz guide. This is huge. This is all full of brats from over the years. Yeah, I made this. This was like a several year long project. And these are all um, notebooks. When I'm working on retaking photos or, you know, if there's things I need to do, I keep them in here. And you'll see I have some pictures. I'm going to be making a collage for above my desk of my American Girl dolls. And I'm going to use catalog credits and stuff. But I also wanted to have some pictures of my dolls. So that's what's in there. And then I also have like a list of earring collages I still need to take for Flickr. And these are all like things like Flickr albums I'm going through to rewrite personal fun facts and to check all the info on. And this is all different photos that I was working on retaking. And then when new dolls, I write their body makes down so when I go to upload the pictures to Flickr, I have the information right there. In this last cabinet, there's nothing too exciting. These are all like really just leftover things from art projects from school. So this is just a little organizer that has like really big pony beads and weird odds and ends that I don't use all that often. And this has things like pipe cleaners and popsicle sticks and stencils all left over from school and those are those puffy balls. These are two art kits that my dad got me for Christmas. And then in this, this is just left over like from school. And here these are like penny rolls. That's my mom's button jar. Let me have my whiteboard. Like, we write notes to each other, me and my sister, so if she notices I made a mistake on a photo, or we do. So those were photos we were working on rewriting descriptions for, things I made notes to myself for, things I need to reprint. That was the drill bit size for piercing American Girl ears. So this is just my computer desk. Pretty self-explanatory. We had it since I was a little kid, back when we had Windows 98. So on the top here, I just have these things for pencils and highlighters, that's for my Sharpies. This thing has tacks, paper clips, and erasers, and then these are my whiteboard markers. This basket my sister's had since she was a little kid. She used to keep cards in it. These are the labels I use to make doll baggy labels. For this is my little planner that I bought not that long ago for keeping up with like doll projects. I really missed having planners from school. I really love organizing. And I basically write down when I want to edit videos or photos or if there's pictures I want to retake. You know, just to give me an idea. It's like little daily goals. I don't necessarily always stick to them, but you know. On the inside of the computer desk, I keep lists of things. So like, this is how I tag my Flickr photos. This is my Flickr photo format. I'm crazy organized. And then I have like lists of dolls doll stuff I need for guides, so pictures I need, dates I need, etc. In this little notebook I keep right near my desk, so these are some extra strips of paper I use to label things downstairs, like my doll organizers. And then these are lists of like maybe photos or dates I need, or my YouTube video ideas, my Flickr photo ideas. And I also have quotes that I like, that I use for things. In here, this is the closet. It used to have a door. My dad took it off to make it more open looking in here. So up there I have scrap fabric, stuffing, and felt. And that's just board games and puzzles. This was my mom's sewing box. Um, I took this over as mine when I was 12 because I got really into sewing. And I just keep, you know, sewing stuff in there. It's pretty self-explanatory. And this is my thread rack. I have tons and tons and tons of thread because my grandmother liked to sew and I inherited like all of her thread. So I bought this little like stand thing at Walmart for, I don't know, 10 bucks. Not that long ago and I really like it because I can organize it by color and see what I have when I'm mending. This is all my hot glue gun stuff. And then in here, this is my extra thread. Yeah, it won't all fit on here, but it's just duplicated thread. That's bills. That's all my jewelry supplies, which I do have a video on all of my jewelry supplies if you're interested in seeing it. In this basket, I came up with this idea probably six or seven months ago. So this is where I keep dolls that need things done. It just keeps them out of the way, keeps my cats from laying on them. I know where they are. 
it's less chaos if I need to photograph someone and I don't have time I put them in there and next to that I have some poster board a long yardstick and my tripod and down here I have newspaper for projects and beneath that I have different types of papers and that's my old art portfolio from high school and then we have this box and my dad's paper cutter so this is where I keep like duplicated catalog stickers um, sometimes I take the back of the boxes from dolls anything I think would be cool for a collage or some kind of decor I also take every year when I'm done using my calendars I take them apart and I keep the pictures so I can use them as backdrops for photos or decor or for collages and then this isn't in my art room this is in the bathroom which is in my sister's bedroom but I thought I'd show you this because this has to do with doll related stuff so the combs that I keep for easy access and then down here this is all just doll stuff these are all of my elastics and things so little clips spray bottle for my American girls doll clips these are the metal clips I use for making hair accessories these are all left over from when I was in cosmetology school and all of these containers were repurposed so these are all manic panic jars from when I color my hair these are from Fishing Line. I think these had like chicken bouillon cubes in them. And my sister and I would always reuse like food things. Obviously when they were clean for doll stuff. So I found those around the house and I thought I'd use them. This is an empty gel tub. And my grandmother gave us this with like Easter candy or something in it a long time ago. My doll hangers and clothespins and color catchers up here because this is all doll laundry stuff. And I always hang the clothes off my sister's bureau squeezy bottle of gel and water and these are some serums that I used to use when I flat ironed dolls I don't really anymore but sometimes and this is like the nail polish remover I use to I hope you guys found this video helpful maybe it gave you some ideas so until next time love your dolls love yourself and love your life